So guys, um, I'm not going to show you the car right now, but uh, I got to say, um, I just broke off my shock mounts, right? And uh, someone shouldn't be happy at this point. Um, I should be pretty pissed off, right? Normally I would be. I'd be uh, pretty mad at myself if I did something stupid like that, right? But um, at the same point, that means the car is about ready to get cut off the chassis jig. Now, um, of course, we're, we're way behind on the videos. But um, we do have someone that's helping out with the videos now, and uh, that should work out pretty damn well. Um, he does quite a few quite a few videos for some of the bigger guys and stuff like that, and uh, has his own uh, YouTube channel and whatnot. But with our time frame and stuff like that, um, our time just has to be dedicated to different things. Okay, don't get me wrong. It's uh, I'm gonna have to do some extra work and stuff like that to be able to afford to have these videos produced and stuff like that. But not this video, of course. This is me on just on the phone and stuff like that. But um, this is gonna be a pretty cool deal. So he's gonna go through and do the videos, and I know we're way ahead um, on the build than what's in the videos and stuff like that right now, but um, I'm ready to cut this damn thing off the chassis jig. And uh, if you didn't see it on the videos, I made uh, my four post lift um, into a chassis jig to build this 33 Dodge that we're building. Um, the Hustlin' Horsepower 33. It might get a real name eventually, but for right now, it's just a Hustlin' Horsepower 33. And uh, if you haven't seen what we started with, um, go back in like one of the first videos and uh, check this thing out. Now this is the, uh, I guess the replacement to the Dirty 30 and uh, I saved anything and everything I could off the 30 to, for use on this car but at the same time there wasn't a whole lot um, salvageable. Now I went through and I bought the majority of the electronics for this car the other day and god dang was that expensive. Um, I'm uh, I'm getting old now, and uh, that was the largest purchase of my life, by far. I've never bought a vehicle. Yeah, I've not bought one vehicle in my life, ever, ever in my entire life, that cost more than the electronics that are going on this car that were on the 30. That's literally simply replacements to what was on the 30. And God dang, that was that that one stung a little bit. I'm sitting there on my kitchen table. It's like, you freaking idiot! You're out here freaking wearing shoes with holes in them in the freaking middle of winter, and uh, you just go spend more money than uh, a lot of freaking money on the electronics for the car. But I love the freaking system. I know the system very well. Um, now, don't get me wrong. I'm not an expert. I'm not a. I wouldn't consider myself a tuner. I do all my own tuning and stuff like that, but. I wouldn't consider myself a tuner. I wouldn't consider myself an engine builder, but I do put my own engines together. I wouldn't consider myself a chassis guy, but I do do my own chassis. Um, there's a lot of things that I do do that I wouldn't consider myself. Um, there's a lot of things I do that um, I feel I'm capable of doing, but I wouldn't consider myself a tuner because I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't uh, put myself up with um, some of the better tuners that I know. I'm, I'm just not in the same realm as them. I'm just not in the same... Uh, on the same wavelength as them as far as tunability. But don't get me wrong, I've been doing this stuff for a little while. I've been surrounded by some uh, pretty good people throughout my time racing and stuff like that for the last, I don't know, I got into this stuff pretty heavily in high school and uh, real heavily um, just a couple years out of high school after I was uh, graduated college and stuff like that. Um, in which a degree that I did not use. Um, I just have school loans that I pay for and I've uh, paid friggin' at least 50% of my taxes um, tax returns since the time I've graduated to pay off my tax return. So um, that's my viewpoint on that. You know, someone that's uh, went through and did all that crap to pay my own way. But um, that's besides the point, I guess you could say. But this video is getting posted completely raw. Don't get me wrong. I'm doing this uh, just in the garage. And uh, I just wanted to do a quick video after I broke off my shock mounts. Because um, I'm pretty freaking excited. Now, uh, it's been way too much work like considerably way too much work but i'm trying to get this car done for a race that i have uh, not announced that we're going to be to it yet. and uh to be honest i'm not going to announce um that we're going to this race until i'm freaking there because this uh this goal i set forth of mine is pretty damn lofty i'm not gonna lie um there's a lot of freaking work left to be done on the car but like i said um the back half of the car it's not done. Don't get me wrong. It's not. It's not done. But I did break off my shock mounts. 
because I was lowering the car and checking, finalizing some things in the rear half of the car. So today before I go to work, I'm going to be cutting off those um, mounts off the jig and uh, we're going to have a live rear end in this car. A rear end that moves up and down in the chassis and a chassis, the back half of the car will be fully functional. And when I say that, like the rear end is going to be able to lift up and down in the chassis and I'll be able to work through the suspension movements and stuff like that as, um, as it would be going down the track or down the street. So that's going to be a pretty cool deal. Now I ordered up some more parts um, recently and the front axle is over here. I'll show you guys because I've posted some pictures of this deal. This is the, um, it's a six inch drop axle. Uh, WAC Customs built it and then I went through and redid everything um, after the accident. All new brackets, new chassis tabs. Uh, new uh, spindles. Uh, they're a 28 to 48 uh, Ford uh, Kingpin. Uh, this is a Flaming River rack. It's a Pinto style rack that's five inches shorter than factory, uh, factory replacement. But that's the same rack I had on the 30. So uh, I went and bought it. I, I had no flaws with it, so I went and did that. Now this deal, uh, of course, it's got like it's got the wishbone mount here, and it's a uh, there's a rack mount uh, for the steering rack here. And then I fabricated up this one down here. And then these are the anti-roll bar tabs because I'll be utilizing a third shock on this car. Um, I'm running three Viking uh, Crusader uh, shocks on the front of the car. Two of them are coilovers. One of them is an independent radial valve shock. And I'll explain that a little bit more in the YouTube videos that are coming up here. But uh, I'm pretty excited for this deal. It's going to be, this car's going to be pretty bad. Um, I'm pretty damn excited for it. And... Uh, you know what? I'm going to wrap this video up here because I want to see what this thing is going to look like while it's on the ground. So, I'm out of here. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to put this thing on all fours um, on the ground. As soon as these uh, these bushings show up, I ordered some bushings for the uh, for this deal here. And I got to shorten up the uh, tie rods, the tie rods here. And uh, I'm running a two-inch spacer in here, so just waiting for those to show up. Just so uh, when the, in the freak accident that something happens, um, that the axle will touch the frame before the steering touches the frame. Um, just as a preventative type thing in case anything happens. So, um, it's something that doesn't need to be done, but it's just something um, I like to pay attention to while I'm doing things, just in case the event that anything happens. So, um, I'm gonna get back to it, guys. Once again, um, hustling horsepower. Thank you, guys. The house is basically sold. Um, the contract's been signed. The first the first contract on the house did fall through. Um, it just is what it is. But fortunately enough, two days later, I had another offer on the house. I actually had a couple offers on the house when the first contract was signed. And then um, another offer came through on the house. And uh, a little less money, but it is what it is. Um, it is what it is, right? So, um, I should be out of the house. I'm losing this garage um, somewhere in the middle of March to end of March, which is, like, not long at all. So, I really got to get working. I've been busting my butt out here. And um, after this, I'm probably going back to working in an unheated garage. So, yeah. Um, I'm, trying to give, I'm trying to make my time as valuable as I can in here right now. I haven't been working a lot of overtime like I normally do just because... Um, I hate working in the cold and ever since uh, the accident and stuff like that my hands don't work that well when it gets cold out so I'm trying to utilize my time in the heated garage um, and make it as most efficient as possible until that time comes so once again make sure you like and subscribe to the channel um, guys we're dealers for uh, quite a few products um, whether it's converters or stainless exhaust systems or uh, we should be dealers for Viking performance here shortly um, race quip of course um, they should be coming out with some 15-layer uh, suits here shortly, uh, 15 and 20-layer suits. They also got some uh, pretty cool seats. Um, I'm waiting for those. Those should show up. I'm buying one. It should be here in about a week or so. Um, what else? You know, Hot Shot Secrets. Um, possibly be, we are dealers for them, possibly be dealers for Trick Flow before too long. Um, I run their cylinder heads, and I got... Uh, I got another piece of aluminum that's going on the new car, but it's not going to go into there right yet because I have to go through and uh, I got to get the money together to do the crank rods, pistons, and so on and so forth to put that motor together. But we're going to throw a test bomb in this biatch before, uh, for a little while, and uh, I'm excited for it, guys. I really, really am. So uh, there's just a quick little update for you all. Um, 
like I said, um, probably like five minutes ago, um, that this video is going to end. But hey, you know, I get to rambling. I get to talking a little bit. I like, uh, I like keeping you guys informed about everything. But um, at the same time, I work like a freaking idiot. And sometimes I just like putting the camera down and getting some work done. And uh, I probably get twice as much work done when I'm not filming as when I am filming. So when push comes to shove, uh, sometimes I just need to get in my happy place and just put my head down and get to work and uh, crank up the music a little bit. Because, of course, you can't have music when you're filming, right? So uh, sometimes I like to just get in the groove and get to work and, and uh, knock some stuff out. So uh, I'm going to go do that right now. So thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, you could hit the little bell icon somewhere up in there. I don't know this stuff too well. But you could hit the bell icon for notifications when new videos come out. And uh, like I said, we should start having videos coming out. We're aiming for two a week on the build video on this series. And uh, we're hoping to have... Uh, we probably have about 15... Probably about 15 to 20 um, build videos on this 33 um, that are filmed so far. We're going to try to condense them a little bit just because... Uh, I'm trying to keep them as action-packed as possible, but that's hard to do when you're really, really building stuff and uh, self-filming most of it. So, guys, I appreciate it. I appreciate all the support. Um, the companies that have went up above and beyond on uh, uh, some stuff that they repaired that they uh, probably better judgment said not to repair it or a uh, little bit extra customer service on certain things um, or, you know, some discounts. Um, because the products were uh, products I purchased on the purchased originally and uh, gave me a little bit of discount on buying them a second time for this deal after the fire um, slash accident. So guys, I appreciate it. Um, I love this shit. I really do. So make sure to like and subscribe and follow along. And uh, this car is going to be pretty damn cool. Thank you guys.